Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very new special Royal Rumble that I'm going to introduce you guys to. Now we did something kind of similar um, before, but this time we are doing Batman villains versus Spider-Man villains. Now we've done DC and Marvel villains face off before. Um, it's a little bit of the same kind of because, you know, you have the whole thing with uh, most of the villains I get are Spider-Man villains or uh, Batman villains because, I mean, those are the two biggest ones that have the most uh, significant villains. Now, I'd say, I'd probably say uh, uh, Batman more uh, than Marvel on that situation because Marvel has a variety. But most of the villains we got from DC were Batman. So we're going to have 15 uh, Batman villains, 15 Spider-Man villains, Face off. I think it's going to be a really great rumble overall. And there will be a new face. A couple new faces probably. Um, but we are starting off with the one, the only, the pain one. And I will tell you guys what I think about some of these characters. My opinion on them. Um, going through my list, and this is kind of, you know, this is kind of a pointless statistic. I knew 29 out of 30 of these people. I was familiar with 24 out of 30. Um, I, I I had my uh, my mom has come over for the weekend. I asked her about the list. She knows 15 out of 30. So she knows 50% on these guys too. So a lot of these guys are pretty famous, I'd say. Um, so the Penguin's the first one here. He's going to be representing Team Batman. Um, so yeah. Team Batman. Uh, so I am going to talk about some of these villains as we go along. And the crowd still, uh, I mean the crowd's the biggest villain. They're the loading screen. They are the biggest villain. They're, they're desperate for love as well. The marry me, I'm single signs. Look, the guy in the green hoodie's desperate tonight. Oh my goodness. It's called eHarmony, guys. You should try it. It's called eHarmony. So, um, <laughs> And the Penguin's up here first. So who is he going to face off with? That's a face only a mother could love right there. <laughs> this is already interesting to see who he's going to go up against. Oh my goodness. And this is one of the uh, newest characters I got. I, I might have used him before, but I don't think so. It was Hush. This is Hush right here. He's a Batman villain as well. He fell in that category of the 6 out of 30 I wasn't too familiar of. I always get him and Rage confused. Uh, they might be kind of the same concept. I'm not for sure. I I, I keep on thinking... I, I don't even know if Rage is with Marvel or DC. I keep on... I'm, I'm so confused on that. I know Hush is a Batman villain. That's all I knew. Uh, I don't know anything about him. I did some research. There is one guy that I had absolutely no idea who he was uh, until I researched him. But uh, I did some research on Hush to get to know him better. It's still like a kind of a weird... Oh, man. And he just shoves the Penguin right down. Am I a Penguin fan? Eh. He's all right. You know? I, I mean, he's one of those villains that's kind of dumb, but you kind of like him, you know? Hush seems like a really cool villain. Um, better than Penguin, but, uh, the Penguin is, you know, he's alright, I guess. He's not my favorite Batman, and you, you think you can't see? How about that person behind you? You should put that sign down in the crowd. Now they're taking pictures, because they've never seen a Batman villain before. Come on. And Sandman's number three. Am I a fan? Absolutely not of Sandman. He is so weird. Um, he's kind of cool, though, at the same time. I, I just, I don't know. I like his power. I just, you know what, I'll, I'll go ahead and put him on the p list of people I like. And Pete, of course, is the first one out of here. We knew he wasn't going to last long. Um, and, oh, man, Hush beating the Sandman up. So you're, this is the guy I had no idea who he was. His name is Mr. Negative. Apparently... He is a Spider-Man villain, and he's pretty glowy. <laughs> uh, so I was never familiar with this character ever. I didn't know he existed. 
Uh, I know a lot of Spider-Man villains. I had no idea who he was. So, um, I don't know if he's off a, just a game alone. Or is he, or if he, I think he's a comic book character. I'm pretty sure he is as well. You guys can educate me on this stuff. Um, and Hush looks pretty hardcore, man. And Black Mask is number five. So I am familiar with Black Mask even before Birds of Prey. So he's going to represent the Batman villain. I think he's cool, but it, I mean, like, he, he's another one of those. Uh, and Hush is still in it. He's another one of those penguin situations where he's like, he's just, he's, his name's kind of stupid, and, but he's a cool looking villain. Penguin's a cool looking villain, depends on what penguin we're talking about, but, um, but yeah. They've kind of made penguin good over the years, I think, and Bane's number six, there's no doubt in my mind, he's great, and I use the, uh, cartoon Bane. So I used the cartoon for this one. We, we used the uh, Dark Knight Rises one too much. I feel like so. And Bane versus Hush. Let's go. Let's go. Bane versus Hush. So we haven't seen a lot of Spider-Man villains yet. We've seen about two. We've seen more Batman villains. Yeah, I'll go ahead and like Sandman. I think his power is cool. He's another one of those dumb names though. Uh, and Deathstroke's number seven. I, I don't like Deathstroke. Uh, it's because he ticks me off. I, I'll never forgive him for what he did to me in Arkham Origins. When he completely embarrassed me. That was one of my biggest rage moments ever. If you guys thought I've raged before on this channel. Well, thank again. Nothing makes me rage more than Deathstroke. Uh, on Arkham Origins. And I'm horrible at Arkham Origins. I'm horrible at those games. I just stay away from them completely at this point. Because I'm just so bad at them. You know. I, I don't like... I, I try to stay away from boss fights. You know. And Dr. Hugo Strange is number 8. Number 8 is Dr. Hugo Strange. So, he is a Batman villain. And Sandman has been eliminated. And Hugo Strange, I'm not a fan of. I think one of my other subscribers, I, I forgot who it was, but they commented and said, uh, I get what you mean, Mike. I'm not a, friend, a fan of him either. He's just dull. He's very dull. You know? He's a dull character. But, I don't know. I doubt, and um, yeah, he's done. He's more, uh, he, more instead of dull, he's done. Because Hush eliminated him. Now, this one was a kind of controversial pick. I went ahead and went with it. Doctor Doom has uh, faced off with Spider-Man before, but he's mainly a Fantastic Four villain. But he, technically, he's a Marvel villain in general. So that's kind of a cop-out, I know, but I needed one more man, and Doctor Doom was fit perfect. I could have choose Thanos. I thought he was more of an Avengers villain. Uh, so I went with Doctor Doom. So... I'm a big fan of Doctor Doom, by the way. Uh, he is one of my favorite. He is top five Marvel villain for me. Top five. Uh, like, I go back and forth. I like him. I like Juggernaut, which is not going to be in this Rumble. Um, even though I'm sure he's fought Spider-Man before. Um, and Mystique. And, oh, Doctor Doom eliminates Mr. Negative. So, that's a negative for him. Ha, <laughs> ha. Terrible joke. <laughs> that, that is a negative for him. Did you win the Rumble? That's a negative, sir. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, no, somebody else got eliminated. I was too busy. Oh, there goes Hush. So, Hush been eliminated by Dr. Doom. And the Riddler's 10. I am not a fan of him. I mean, he's kind of cool, but he's just annoying. He annoys me on the Arkham games, but he won't shut up about his riddles. So, so Mr. Negative, Hush eliminated. And who else will be in this rumble is the question. And Scorpion's number 11.
And I don't know. Oh, okay. oh man. And Scorpion with the elimination on Bane. Wow. Wow. That was a crazy elimination there. And Bane's out. That's a big loss for Team Batman. And Riddler versus Doctor Doom. Deathstroke versus Scorpion. What some great matchups we're seeing. Only on this channel. Because Marvel and DC won't get together. They will never team up. They just hate each other. They, and then it's like PlayStation and Xbox. I wish they would uh, put their pride, uh, take, uh, uh, stop being filled with pride and work together for once. And Craven the Hunter, no, I, absolutely not a fan of him. Like he is like, yeah. There's a reason why we haven't seen a uh, seen a live action version of him. There's a reason. Um, we haven't seen one of Scorpion, but I hope hopefully we'll see one of him. He's he's kind of neat. So. I like his, like some of these guys, it, it's how they wear their like gear and stuff. Like Riddler, I don't like Riddler, but I like his gear. I like the question mark. I like like the green. Same thing with Scorpion. And Dr. Octo Octavius, I am a big fan of. Definitely. Love Spider-Man 2. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, as a matter of fact. With Tobey Maguire, because it's a great movie. And uh, But poor Do Dr. Otto Octavius... Uh, yeah. Fell to his doom. That's another terrible one there. Uh, and Craven's eliminated the Riddler. Oh, my goodness. And Rhino's number 14. He's one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. Um, he's a, he's another terrible, like, like, that's another terrible name and terrible kind of concept. But he just works. He really works. And he's one of my favorite villains ever, in a matter of fact. So... And, uh-oh. Scorpion. Oh, there goes Dr. Doom. And Scorpion eliminates Rhino. And Electro is going to be number 15. And, oh, my goodness. What a what a move that was. And Electro, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> He's in, like, yeah. And... Let's see what else happens here. So we got Deathstroke, we got Electro, Craven, and Scorpion's been eliminated. So Craven, oh, he's gonna try to win this Rumble. I know he is. He's trying to win this Rumble to make me upset, and it's not gonna work out for him. And who's coming out next? And it is Mr. Freeze at 16. Number 16 is Mr. Freeze. Uh, he's all right. I, 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 he's a, he's a pretty good. I like him more as an animated villain. I don't think anybody likes the Arnold version of Mister Freeze. That, that was just a complete joke, if you ask me. But that whole movie's a joke. Should be banned. They ban all these other movies and stuff. They should ban Batman and Robin. That's the worst movie I've ever seen in my life, along with Polar Express. They should just, like, they should take, they should just dispose of all those DVDs and Blu-rays. And Shocker. Cool villain. I like Shocker. Uh, we we kind of saw him in Spider-Man uh, um, Homecoming, but it's, you know, not the Shocker we're used to. I mean, it was like a couple Shockers with his kind of power, but they didn't have the suit and stuff, so, eh. Uh, that's kind of a disappointment. I would like to have a shocker like this one. So. And Kingpin is 18. So Kingpin, number 18. Uh, he's a more of a daredevil villain, but he has collided with Spider-Man, including Spider-Man Into the Multiverse, by the way, which I have seen now. So yes, congratulate, congratulations to me on that. I finally watched it, and Craven's been eliminated by Mr. Freeze. I finally have watched that, so I'm so proud of myself. So proud of myself that I finally have watched uh, Spider-Man Into the Multiverse. But I love the Kingpin on Daredevil. 
more because I'm a big Daredevil fan and that looks like Deathstroke's been eliminated. Killer Croc is here. Oh man, could we see Killer Croc versus Kingpin? That would be a, a super heavyweight matchup and a half. And uh, oh man, shocker. Going after King Kingpin. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I was gonna I was about to say you talk about a shocker there. <laughs> Terrible one, I know. Uh, and uh oh. Oh no, Kingpin remembers what Shocker tried to do to him. And he's going to make Shocker pay. Him and Mr. Freeze working together. And, oh, Solomon Grundy. <laughs> I always thought, uh, I, I'm not familiar with him, to be honest. I don't know anything about that guy. He was in my, like, six, um, uh, 20, he was uh, the six out of 30 that I didn't know, wasn't familiar with. He was definitely one of them. I don't know anything about him. Like, some of these guys, I don't know their origins. Like, Electro, I don't know his origin. I know Mr. Freeze's and uh, uh, Killer Croc and uh, Kingpin, of course. Uh, I don't remember Shockers, but a lot of these I know. And Joker's 21, all right. So Joker, and I used the Arkham Asylum Joker. I thought that would be the best one. Um... Since we're going for kind of a comic book feeling here, uh, or animated feeling, more than a movie feeling, but, you know, as you notice, a lot of these guys are, they look like they're more from the uh, um, comics or the uh, cartoons than the actual movies that we're using here. There might be a couple that are don't feel that way. And Victor Saz is number 22. So Victor Saz at number 22. He is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So Victor Saz. Victor. Oh, man. And Victor Saz eliminates the Shocker. Yeah, he's a crazy villain. I think he's not really. If Oh, man. Electro's been eliminated. To be honest with you guys, I don't think Victor Saz is, should... Uh, Mr. Freeze has been eliminated, and he just spit out blood. <laughs> uh, Victor Saz did. I feel like Victor Saz is just too dark for the DC, but I know DC's been dark before, but he's just like... I mean, come on, man. He, he's crazy. He's one of the darkest DC villains ever. So, yeah. Um, Victor Saz. I like that name, though. And we got, he's he's challenging Kingpin, which, I mean, there's a big size difference there. And I want to see Solomon Grundy versus Kingpin or Killer Croc versus Kingpin. And we'll see what we get here. Uh-oh. Killer Croc and Kingpin. Oh, my goodness. And Kingpin going after the Joker here. Can he get the Joker? Uh, Joker goes, uh-oh. Kingpin with the foot. Victor Saz, is he going to help? Nope. No help from Victor Saz. So, ah, oh, man. We need another person in here, though. But it looks like it's been about a little bit balanced. I'd say there's more Spider-Man villains left, though, than actual DC villain. I mean... Batman villains. So, look at... Oh, man. <laughs> Solemn just threw... And Vulture's number 23. So, Vulture at 23 here. Yeah, I, there's only like one Batman villain I can think of off the top of my head that hasn't came out yet. There might be a couple, but the one that hasn't came out yet, he's not going to make a difference. So, uh, yeah. So, I think it's mainly just... Trying to think of who all I put in for the Batman stuff. And Vulture, of course, I I I actually used the movie version. Killer Croc wins the matchup between him and Kingpin and it, Mad Hatter's the one I'm talking about. He's really gonna he's really not that good, but uh Vulture I did use the movie because the cartoon version is lame as can be. 
It's one of the lamest characters I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's like an old man. It's like the old twig decided that, if you guys don't know my channel, the old twig is one of my characters. It's like he decided to shave his head bald and become a, fa uh, a vulture. That's what it's like. It's the lamest, one of the lamest characters ever. But uh, Michael Keaton saved that character, but he could not save himself in that rumble. And Carnage is 25, so... Man, Hush has been... Oh, no, no, that's that's Solomon Grundy. So, I don't know who's all left on DC. There might be another one that I... Yeah, there's one more, at least, than I, I just thought about. Yeah, but, I mean, DC's been pretty tough sa between Saz, Killer Croc, and uh, Solomon Grundy. And the Mad Hatter, I don't think he'll last long, but you know, you never know. And oh my goodness! And Joe, who's gonna get eliminated next? Is, look at Carnage. He's not afraid of Killer Croc. And look at oh man, they're gonna try to get both Batman villains. Is somebody else going to join him? To, oh, and Carnage helps Solomon Grundy. <laughs> you never know. I mean, oh, my goodness. Look at Victor Sass, man. He, he's unreal. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was absolutely great. Oh, my goodness. Scarecrow. And what a shocker of elimination. Victor Sass. <laughs> Well, that was a great one, and Scarecrow, oh, come on. Really? He always gets he always gets the worst in these rumbles. The Scarecrow does, so that's a big loss for DC. And I wasn't counting him, so I forgot all about Scarecrow. And Two-Face was the one I'm counting. So... Victor Saz is, I think, the man to beat right now, him or Killer Croc. Yeah, I mean, they have really dominated this rumble. And, uh, yeah, Saz might be done here. Two-Face might get him. I'm a big I'm a big Two-Face fan. I'm a really big Two-Face fan, so. Um, and Carnage, big fan. I'm not a big fan of the Mad Hatter. I think he's pretty stupid. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like, I like uh, Two-Face, Joker. Saz is really crazy, but I, I guess I like him. And, oh, Two-Face got the Joker. So the Joker's been eliminated. He's the team captain. I think we all know who the team captain of uh, Spider-Man will be then. We, I don't think we've seen him yet. And the Mad Hatter. What a uh, combination with Saz and Killer Croc and Mysterio at number 28 here. So this is getting good. I, I know that there is going to be a big person in in the next two. Uh, we're most likely going to see somebody that... Uh, well, the next two are going to be Spider-Man villains. So, Killer Croc, Two-Face, and Saz need to hold down the fort here. And Mysterio. Carnage needs to help him. Oh, he might have it. Oh, my goodness. Mysterio. Trying to eliminate Killer Croc here. And Venom's 29. Oh, my goodness. So, you're going to have Carnage and Venom in the same ring now? That's crazy. So we got Carnage and Venom together, and Mysterio, and the fourth guy, uh, the the last guy is definitely probably most likely the team captain of Spider-Man, unless he already came out and I didn't know, but I, I don't think he has. Um, and Carnage eliminated by Victor Saz. <laughs> Another one, another big one for Victor Saz. Man, he is on a roll today. <laughs> Oh, is he, is he going to get Venom? Oh, Venom got him. Venom got him. So, oh, man. He, he was going to go for it, though. He was going to eliminate Venom. Oh, my goodness. And Killer Croc and Two-Face are the last. Yeah, Green Goblin's definitely number 30. The team captain for uh, Spider-Man villains, I'd say. It's between him and Venom. I, I think Green Goblin's Spider-Man's biggest rival, I, I would say. Um, so, three Spider-Man villains, two DC ones, 
Uh, we're going to have Killer Croc versus Venom. So Killer Croc's the guy to beat. So we are officially down to five people in this rumble. Five people in this rumble. So um, I don't know who's going to win it. I'm going to make the prediction, guys, and say Venom's going to take it all. I think Venom's going to win this rumble. But I could see Killer Croc winning it as well. So um, I don't know. We could have an upset in Green Goblin. Wins. Oh, Venom. Killer Croc just killed my theory. Oh my goodness, Killer Croc with that elimination. He's about to get him. He's about to betray his Batman villain brother. And Killer Croc. Oh my good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we are down to four here. Who will win it is the question. <laughs> Killer Croc lays out Two-Face right there. <laughs> this is crazy. You got both of the Marvel people going up against each other. And both of the DC and Killer Croc. Oh my goodness. Is he going to get another one? He doesn't care. He's all in it for himself. We already know this. And Mysterio, I'd like to see him. I want to see Batman villain versus a uh, uh, Spider-Man villain in the end. I don't want to see like two. I don't want to see it be Mysterio versus Green Goblin. And look at this. Oh man, I thought he was gonna throw him out. I do not want to see that. That might happen though. But none of us want to see that at all. Oh man, Killer Croc's just gonna be too hard to get out. I'd say. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. He's just a, he's a beast, man. He's an absolute beast. We are down to three people in this rumble. And, oh, my goodness. He can't get him on the ropes. I, I want to see that matchup. I'm probably not going to get to see it. But Killer Croc was my second most likely to win this. He's going to get double teamed or something. Or Green Goblin might get double teamed. We'll see. And Mysterio. Oh, no. They're going to they're gonna double team. Oh, wait. Oh. Killer Croc may have survived. I don't know how, but uh, he's on the edge. Come on, Killer Croc. Get back in. Oh, Mysterio's going to punch him out. Oh, Mysterio's not even paying attention. <laughs> Killer Croc. Uh-oh. And Killer Croc survives. He shouldn't have survived that. Oh, wow. It's it's called determination there. And uh -oh. Green Goblin, let him get the elimination. Or help him out. Help him out! Well, he might not need help. Killer Croc could... Oh, my goodness. We're going to get to see it. Yes! We are going to get to see Killer Croc versus Green Goblin. Oh, it's the final showdown here. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be beautiful is what it's going to be. We are down to two, ladies and gentlemen. And this may be the best showdown yet. I would prefer it be like, you know, guys that are kind of like the same, but whatever. It is what it is. So we are down to two, and Killer Croc, he might not even want that promo. Oh my goodness, Killer Croc might take it here. He's going for the elimination. Oh my goodness, he's using those crocodile feet. Oh, the smell of the sewers. About killed the Green Goblin and Killer Croc wins. What an excellent victory for Killer Croc. That was an amazing rumble. Absolutely amazing. He came in and he wasn't to be messed with, man. They almost had him. They almost had him. Mysterio calls the Spider-Man <laughs> villains to lose. If he would have just punched Killer Croc, it would have probably been game over for him. But unfortunately, which which I kind of, well, I like the Goblin better, but I like, I don't know, Killer Croc's fun on this game. Um, I didn't care who won. And he used his disgusting sewer feet. We're talking about an Arkham sewer. If you thought Arkham uh, was bad enough, imagine their sewer. But what Killer Croc needs to understand is... 
No crocodiles are allowed at WrestleMania. That's what he needs to understand. Why would we let crocodiles in the building? You're not going to WrestleMania. Great performance, don't get me wrong. It's not WrestleMania worthy, though. Because, like I said, we have hundreds of thousands of fans at WrestleMania. And we don't. the last thing we need is a crocodile walking around. Okay? So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this Rumble. I had a lot of fun doing it. This was probably one of the best ones we've done in a while. It's kind of exciting uh, doing it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.